Hey guys, so this week we have been learning about plate tectonics and I wanted to show you a really cool lab you can do at home if you have the supplies. All you need is some icing or whipped cream or even pudding, really anything that could get this texture here. Um, and you need some graham crackers and some water, okay? I dyed my icing orange because I wanted you to get the full effect of what's going on in um, or underneath the Earth's crust and deeper into the athenosphere. So this right here represents our athenosphere where the convection currents happen, the rocks rise because they are heated and then they fall because they cool and then it continues to do that. Because of this continuing convection currents, this causes our Earth's plates to move. And that movement causes some effects here on Earth. And we're gonna talk about those effects today. So let's go ahead and jump in. So our first boundary we're gonna talk about um, is going to be divergent. And if you forgot what divergent is, this is where the plates move away from each other. So they're moving away, right? So I'm gonna show you that and what that looks like on the athenosphere. So here are my plates. I'm going to put them kind of side, side by side so they look like a whole half of a, a graham cracker, okay? And I'm gonna set them down there. Now, I'm gonna take two fingers and very gently push down and push away, okay? So push down, push away. Now, this looks really, really cool. I know you can't see it, so I'm gonna kind of show you it. See that in the middle there? It creates like a pointed ridge, like that. And with divergent plates, when they spread out like that, the seafloor is spreading and this causes an opening in Earth's crust and then that magma comes up from the asthenosphere, gets to Earth's surface and comes out of volcanoes as lava or once it cools, it becomes lava. And then we have our igneous rocks. Um, you also get um, trenches that form because of these divergent plates. So if you don't know what a trench is, that's an underwater mountain range. And one of the most famous divergent boundary is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge in the Atlantic Ocean, all right? So that is our divergent. So I'm gonna kind of push them back together just a little bit so I can um, get them out and we can do our next boundary. So I'm gonna set these guys over here. You can reuse the same ones. Um, well, you can reuse these for the next one, but then you'll need another set of graham crackers. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use new ones because I have enough. So I'm going to reshape my athenosphere here. So I'm gonna take my knife and kind of make it flat again. There we go. Um, and now I'm gonna get two new ones. I am going to face them like this. And then I'm going to kind of get this a little bit wet, just a little bit, only one though. And then I'm going to set it down two centimeters apart. All right. All right. So the next boundary we're going to talk about is convergent. Okay. With convergent, that means the plates are colliding together. Okay. It means they're coming together like this. Um, so I'm going to model that here with our graham crackers. So this one's wet. Keep that in mind. This represents like the oceanic crust because that's underneath the ocean. Um, and then I'm gonna gently push down and push together. Okay, see that? Okay, it has, one has gone under and one has gone over one of the plates. So that's kind of like this. And it's created that right there. Okay, that's what this is right here. And what that is, is a mountain. So convergent 
plates create mountains. They also create trenches and they also create volcanoes because it's pushing together and forming that point and causes those mountains. And one of the most famous that you probably all know is the Rocky Mountains. So this is convergent, all right? Now I'm gonna get rid of this guy because he's kind of crumbled and I'm gonna get me a new plate and we're gonna talk about the last boundary. And it's gonna be kind of hard to, yeah, disintegrate a plate. Um, but just try your best to get them all out. If, if there's a little bit of crumbs, it's no big deal. But let's go ahead and again, pan out our thinosphere for our last boundary. All right, so now I'm gonna take two more rectangles and I'm gonna put them um, like this, okay, side by side. And with transform boundaries, they slide past each other like this. So when they do that and they slide past each other, that causes some friction, right? So I'm going to take these, push down gently, and I'm gonna do that against my two plates. And you hear that sound, and I know you can't really see, but because I'm pushing past and sliding past, it's caused some breaking of the cracker to happen in the middle there. And what that represents is earthquakes. So that constant moving, that constant friction going back and forth causes earthquakes to happen here on Earth. Um, the most famous transform boundary is the San, Andrea, San Andreas Fault in California. So again, you can do this at home if you want to, as long as you have the supplies. Do not go out and buy supplies. If you don't have the supplies, enjoy the video. If you do have the supplies, great, do it. If you don't, you got to see it. So, all right, guys, have a great rest of your day.